Uh, this is Dr. Clyde. I'm in the Basilica in Mexico City. It reminds me of a common nutrition question that I get, which is fasting. Whether it's for religious or health or any other reason, fasting leads to the brain shifting to using ketones instead of sugars so that you don't have to eat any sugars. The liver still produces some sugars, but that's all that the brain needs. The other half is ketones. There's two problems with ketosis that you want to be careful of so that you don't reduce your health instead of your goal, which is to increase it if it's for health purposes that you're doing it. Number one, no carb snacks or cheat meals because it brings the brain out of ketosis, which then makes the brain eat up lean tissue, muscle tissue, for a day or two after every single cheat that you do. The societies that follow ketosis naturally because of low carbohydrate availability for most of the year, like the Inuit and the Cree up in the Arctic, they don't have cheat snacks and cheat meals. That's something for you to consider. The second thing is when you exercise, it depletes blood sugar, robbing that little bit of glucose that the liver is trying to produce for the brain, which then forces the brain to destroy lean tissue again. One fourth of your weight loss will be lean tissue loss. So those are the two things to keep in mind. No cheating when you're on ketosis and a rapid carbohydrate right after your workout to refuel muscle so that it doesn't rob your blood sugar, destroying the benefit of the ketosis. That's Dr. Clyde. For more, you can go to my website at drclydewilson. That's drclydewilson.com or nutritionengineering.com. See you next time.